Hello Creative Birdies, how are you guys? I'm in the middle of thinking of a project and I'm sitting here telling myself, well, if I'm going to do this part, I might as well record it, so I have a hair. We all have hair. Okay, so I have this elastic that's a shame because I have quite a bit of it and it lost its elasticity. Now it sucks because I saved it to use it as elastic and now it's no longer elastic but I hate to throw it away so I figured I'd keep it and use it in, pro in certain projects. The other day Veronica Rose City Crafts, she's another creator here on YouTube, Rose City Crafts, her name is Veronica, she sent me um, birdie, happy birdie mail is what I call it because I call you guys my little birdies. Mm, crafty birdies. She sent me mail and in there was is this. So I want to make a bracelet. So I measured my wrist and I used all-purpose tacky glue. I'm hoping it's going to work and it's hopefully it won't seep through the into the fabric. And I'm just rubbing it on. And then I'm thinking I'm going to mix it up. Maybe we'll put this in the middle. Yeah. Hmm. I think so. I'll put it in the middle. We're going to make a bracelet. She sent me this piece of fabric as well. Now the design in the fabric happens to match the same design on the bead. Right there. See? So I am very boho. And I like stuff like that. So this is the first part. And then I'm going to step away, turn off the camera, and then I'll come back when this is dry and I'm ready to do the next part. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. We're not dried yet, but I decided I would like to use my drop paper. Excuse all this other stuff around. At this point of my journey here, crafting, I need to have things out to inspire me. Uh, if you guys haven't seen, I redid my room with a lot of closets and everything's hidden. <laughs> and I love it hidden. It looks... Well, I, I love hate it hidden because it looks nice and clean. That's great. Uh, remember, I rent this house, so I have to keep everything spick and span. It's not my house. Um, if it were my house, I'd have yellow walls and, you know, more boho looking. Okay, mixed with industrial. I love that look. Rustic, industrial, boho. Anyways, I'd have nature indoor. <laughs> but right now I'm at this point in my life where I feel like I need things out. So I have things out. So that's why I'm saying excuse the extra things you see out. But you guys know how I use my drop um, cloths in my art. And I'm thinking this is going to be one of those times where I use my drop cloth in my art. These pieces here, I want to cover with a piece of my drop cloth. Now I just got to find a spot that I like, and I really like this spot here. So what I'm going to do is get to that spot there. And it's a nice tough spot, meaning it's hardened because of the acrylic paint that I've picked up. It's hardened enough. There we go. Earlier I was trying to save a kitten in my backyard. Um, a male cat was trying to impregnate a baby kitten that looks like it's only a few months old. 
but it got scared and it ran away. It looked like it really wanted me to help. And as soon as I grabbed that ladder, he jumped because he was pretty up high and I, I was willing to do what I had to do to get it. He really looked like he wanted me to help. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. But I have the ladder there in my backyard just in case I need to run out again. Alright. So I might sound a little out of breath due to that. Okay. Seems like I only need a little bit. Hmm. I'm just going to eyeball it because that's what I do. And I apologize for the last video being off focus, but at least I did a video and, and seem to be inspired now. We'll see. We'll see. Any overhang or overlay? Sounds like the kitten's back there again. Any overlay, I'll just cut off. But I kind of want to blend it in. I don't kind of. I'm going to blend it in. Now, for those of you have, who have been with me for a while I, and are wondering, oh no, Secret's going to get herself another cat. No, I wouldn't do that. I know myself. I know I only have fun, you know, funds for one dog right now. I have two. Um, but Janet has kindly um, donated funds for me to keep saved. Not a lot, but enough to save and add to little by little, just in case anything happens to any of my animals. She's Janet's an animal lover as well. Janet is my friend from UK. And she's always checking up on me. I'm always checking up on her, and I love that. Unfortunately, she's in the UK. All right. So I'll blend these edges in eventually another way. I don't know how right at this time, but I will figure something out. We always do. Okay, so now we have that. Eventually, when this dries, we're going to cut here. And then we're going to figure this out. But the main focal bead, either I can sew it in right here, which I just thought of while talking to you guys, or I can connect it another way. But we'll figure it out. I'll be back. <laughs> Why am I not talking? No clue. I was mute for a little bit. Okay, so now... Ignore this. I just tested what I wanted to do. So I did it off camera, and then we'll do it together here. But what I would like to do on camera with you guys, you know what, I might fold it over. Yeah, I think we will. So I'm going to give myself some Um, slack so that I can fold it over. Okay. That one of this bracelet is really thought through completely. We're doing it off just off of the top of our heads in a way, in a sense. Because if I would have had this thought through, I would have had the glue ready and probably already on it. But I didn't think it through. Probably shouldn't push it in because then the gooey stuff is going to get in there, right? And then I complain later. My glue won't come out. It's okay. Hmm. Not going to glue it yet now that I'm thinking about it because I need to do what I did on this side to this side. So, here I have what is falling apart already. The only, um gold thread I have. I cherish that. I really like that stuff. Okay. So, just 
this is just my way here um, in making the unfinished uh, fabric that we put that we glued on here. Sorry, I'm short for words because I'm keeping an eye on the dogs because Beans is still in heat and Pixie's had enough of, of her being in heat and attacking. They're starting to, to well, Pixie's starting to attack Benini because Pixie's annoyed that Benini keeps jumping on her. So I'm keeping an extra close eye. So I haven't even left the house um, today at all. I'm usually carrying one with me or separating them in different rooms with a baby cage. Not a cage, it's a baby a baby door, baby fence. I have a baby fence. So if I'm in the kitchen and I need to be cooking and paying attention to my cooking, then I have the fence up and one of the dogs is in the living room. And that's just life right now. And that's okay. So in order for this unfinished look, in order for it to come together for me, in my mind, this is going to be a personal piece. Something that I would wear in the style that I like. This mixed media art, wearable art that I like to make that I've been making since... Mm, I want to say mm, nineteen ninety eight. I've been making and selling. But this is my piece. I am thinking about um, selling at a fair that will be coming up. 2020 and the month of July, June, July, August, yeah, sometime in August. So I already inquired, but the person I contacted is the person that runs the flea market, I was told she she's the one that runs it, contacted her, asked her for information, asked her if I can apply now for next year so that I know how much I need to pay so I have a spot so that I have a goal that I'm going to have to reach and I just broke my needle. Did I break the needle or did the thread just break off? Let's figure this out. Anyways, she contacted me back and said, stay tuned. Just keep following us on our YouTube, on our Instagram, and stay tuned. And I think that, that was very unprofessional. I'm I'm acquiring a future um, setup, and she's taking it as oh, just follow us. She, the, the numbers, basically, she's she's looking at it as far as numbers, you know, for following on Instagram, which I do follow her, but I'm inquiring for a business. Not this Instagram. Stay tuned, poop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to contact the city and uh, see if I can apply through the city because it is a city festival. It's called something Mercado, Mexican Mercado. It's um, the video I have here, blacksmithing, where I did a little free blacksmith class. That's the place I want to sell at next year. Anyways, I don't know why I went in that direction. So this is what I'm going to do, back and forth until I'm happy with the results. I'm not staying straight. I'm not doing a particular stitch. It's my personal piece, so that's the way I like my jewelry. To be very unique and one of a kind. Yes, ma'am. 
I hope I get buried with all my jewelry. <laughs> like back in the day. So I am going to just make make my way back to the other side. Hopefully the thread doesn't break again. I see this thread all um all over AliExpress. It's not cheap but it's not expensive it just depends on your income or your uh, uh, allowance or whatever it is that you have your budget you can probably find this roll for like five bucks I don't know if Michael Michaels or any big box craft store carries it I don't go into Michaels often I'm this year I've probably been into Michaels or any craft store, I want to say six times maybe. And I'm that person that goes directly to the item, looks at nothing else, and walks out. Yep. Mm, what do I need from Michaels right now? Right now I would like to get some gold leaf the sheets of gold leaf. I would like to get some because I am thinking of following a tutorial from a lady that rolls out polymer clay and beads and canes and she uses gold leaf. I don't know her name right off the top of my head right now but she does these beautiful pieces. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what her name is right now but I'll give her the credit when I do do the video if I do end up getting a hold of that stuff I have a 50% coupon for tomorrow but those coupons are always around I don't know if I'll go or not I just gave Jackie uber money uh, so I don't think that I need to be spending. I feel like I need to be saving. So we'll see. I'm not going to die if I can't make the project, right? I'll come up with something else to do. Okay, for me this is done. And I don't even think I need to um, tie it in a knot or anything like that because we're just going to fold this over. Okay, it's not coming out. <gasps> Why is it not coming out? There's a hair. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me see if I can use what's on this stick. Yeah, I think we could use what's on the stick. I hate being wasteful. If I knew I was going to glue this down, I would have not left my bottle just chilling on its side. So many of you guys tell me, put, leave your bottle upside down, put the lid on it, and leave the bottle upside down. I don't listen, I'm sorry. Fold it over. I do see that I don't have enough on that end, but that's okay. We'll put another piece of fabric like this. It'll all come together. It looks messy now, but it'll all come together. How do I know that? I have faith in my skills. So far, that's what it looks like. And if 
I wanted to I can make a cleaner look by folding this piece up but I'm not going to see it would look cleaner like that but we're not going to do that but what I am going to do is take this back out put some more glue first I'm just going to fold this piece in just because Okay, that's that for now. This most likely will be the front. So if I wanted to, I can fold it back that way. I might do that off camera. I might not. I think I will. Let's see if I can even do it. like a booger but I promise it's not it's just glue bur boogers burgers boogers okay I can do this and then hold it and what I'll do is go into my little craft supplies I have and find Oh, I think I have them over here. Yes, I do. These little doggy bones, they were sent to me in birdie mail. And what I'll do is clip, clip them like that so it holds it down. Puts, applies pressure. And once it's nice and dry, we'll check to see what spots are dry, what needs more glue. And I can already tell this part needs more glue, so I'll put it now. And this side is going to look a little messy, but that's going to be the side that faces in. So it's a personal piece. If I were making this to sell, I'd completely make it very sellable and appealing to another person but since it's just for me and I like things the way they are naturally or the way they come out looking homemade handmade that's what I like so I'll come back once this is all dried here's where we're at see you in a little bit Okay guys, off camera, I went ahead and I wasn't satisfied with the look. As much as I thought I was, I wasn't. So what I ended up doing, and the look that I'm talking about was um, the back side where we flipped it. This is the front. This is the front where I showed you guys how I sewed that up. The back side, I'm not, I wasn't happy with once I got off camera. I was eating guac not guac, but an avocado, and it seems like I got avocado on there, but I want to cut this on camera so that you guys are not confused once we're done how I got to this point. So I had avocado, homemade beans, and a chipotle tortilla. It was yummy. I'm going to 
be excited to see what the opposite side looks like and I still haven't determined how we're going to place the bead. So this is looking like a Native American inspired boho mixed media piece. Oh, so there's our back and it's got glitter! Right there. Benini, please stop. So that can be the front or the back. But I like this as the front. So, this is the piece that Veronica sent. In our, Veronica sent in our birdie mail. I'm going to take away the earpiece and that piece I will toss. But I'm, I want to keep this little metal, the metal bead, so... I want to keep the little metal bead, so I will. But the earpiece I will toss. Alright. So we have options. Let's open this up and take apart the bead, or take the bead off of the head pin. Benini behave. Throw away the head pin. Recycle it. Now, I can put um, grommets on this end, little grommets, and then put the bead here. Benini, stop. Or I can attach it here like that. But if I do it this way, that means I'm going to have to use some seed beads to connect. And some seed beads to connect there, so it doesn't look too awkward. Huh. Or I can do some wire work and then sew it on. I kind of like the wire work sew on. I'm not sure. I also can do wire work and connect it this way. So, when I get to the point of putting in the grommets, then I'll come back. Okay, we're back. Here's where we're at. Alright. Let me move all these beads. I am having thoughts in my head of what beads to use. So I pulled a few out. I'm going to place those there. This was an option, but I didn't end up using them. Put those aside. Uh, oh, I'm going to need chain. Okay. I'll deal with the chain later. Hey, 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 hey. Beanini, Pixie doesn't want you doing that to her. Bean? No. Stop. No. We're still at it. Alright. Uh-uh. Get. So I did this one. Uh uh, get off camera. I added that um, clamp on the end. Not the cleanest job, but it's my bracelet. So I decided I'm walking you guys through every single step, so I might as well walk you guys completely through. So what I do is fold the edges like in a triangular shape. Let me open this a little more and put my clasp or clamp or crimped, I don't know what this is, here. Benini, she's warning you. Eh. No. This has gone too far. Next dogs I get are all getting neutered. Benini's too old to get neutered. So I was told. Okay, I'm a little distracted with the dog, sorry. Alright, 
I'm going to just use my tool here. It has teeth. And I'm just going to clamp it down. Then we'll find some chain. BB, stay here. I'm looking for chain. I don't see any chain right now. Okay. So we have our ends finished. Benini, our back finished. And now, what I am thinking is I'm going to... Bean, come over here. BB, shh, hey, come here. Good girl, come up here. What I'm going to do is probably... I'm going to end up doing my little Susie cues on the end beads on the inside. I think I want to finish the ends with either... Hey, hey, hey. Stop. With either this... Hey. <laughs> Ladybug. If it fits. If it doesn't fit, I'm not going to... I'm not going to have a fit. None of this is a have to. Okay, those don't seem to fit. I'm pushing them aside. I have butterflies also. And let's hope that these fit. And if it doesn't, it's okay. I do have a bead reamer. I just don't know exactly where it's at. Yeah, I broke it. I had a feeling I was going to do that broke it, but I, I will still use these. 100%. Okay, we're not going to use any ends then. If I use any ends, it probably would be the butterflies. I mean, these ladybugs. Hey! Get off of honey! That is a cat, Beanini. <laughs> and she's your sister. Sicko. Good girl, honey. You didn't even do anything. Honey could have scratched your face up there. Beep, beep Get. She, now she's trying to get on honey. Okay. You know what? It, it, it is fitting. Alright. So that one will fit fine. I kind of reamed it myself it seems like so I don't need my bead reamer. But they do exist. Bead reamers do exist. You can get them online. Okay. I might as well ream the other one as well. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Then I have beads that I pulled out. And then I think I'm going to sew it in. Okay, once I figure out how, what I'm going to do as far as what beads go where, then I'll come back with you guys. But right now I'm going to use these ends. It came with these spacer beads. So I'm going to want to use them maybe if they fit. Yeah, spacer bead on that side. And a spacer bead on this side. Just because they came together, I want to keep them together. Alright. I'll come back. Maybe tomorrow because it's actually really late. So there we are with what we have right now. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. Well, tomorrow. Hmm. Hello, creative birdies. How are you guys? I'm back with another small session. I have some time right now. And um, I put some of the bracelet together. Decided not to use. The camera's way over there. Okay, my table is off. Give me a second. Oh. Okay. I decided not to use these. 
Not because they didn't look cute, but it was just going to take too much room. More room than I wanted, actually. So here we go. There we go. So, here's one end already done. I've got the burps. Mm. You're going to have to forgive me for that. Okay. Here's a seed bead. And then uh, a bead. Uh, I don't know what they're called right now. Filigree? No. A bead cap. And I'm going to use this bubble gum glass bead. Another bead cap. All oh, my lighting is off. Give me one second. It's still a little off, but I, I can't fuss with it right now. I just want to get this video done. I want to wear my bracelet. Oh, I forgot to pick grab chain out of my stuff. Okay, it's fine. Another seed bead, and I'm just using these as spacers. It's been a um, strange day. There's been fires here in Glendale. Mm, we were not caught in the fire, but we were so close to the fire. And I think I over did it with my my car and I think I am going up all those hills trying to get back home and far a safe distance from the fires and I went over loads and loads of hills to get back home because we were in that city it's, I threw something off on the car we don't know exactly what it is George is guessing it's the timing belt or the Timing belt? Is that what it is? Timing? Something timing? And that just throws everything off as far as money. Really, really does. And now I'm stressed out. Uh, anyways. It's just another bill to add to our bills. You guys know how that is. We feel like we're all caught up, and then we get a little bit of savings. You guys know how that goes. Now I'm just twisting, making a little curly sue. I have a little tiny savings, and now that little tiny savings that is really for Benini, for the dogs, for any emergency vet. Now that's going to have to go. It's just going to have to go and be used on my car because we're, we're running on one car. Running on one car. It's okay. Figure it out as we go. We always do. Alright, so that's how I have it. I would really love to use the gold thread to do this part that I'm going to do and I really would have loved if I thought this through I would have liked it if I would have done this part at the beginning before I put that backing so it's a personal piece it's fine I don't know how hard it's going to be to sew through but I know it's going to be a little messy but let's do it I need one of those little thimbles I'm just going to let the needle come through. I wouldn't be surprised if I break the needle. That's okay. Just going to sew it in this way. All right. And then we're going to come out over here. I'm going to push against my desk. The needle bent. Oh. See, it would have been cleaner. I'll show you in a second if I would have done this part before. So if you guys are going to attempt to do this, have at it. The only thing... Oh, actually, I, I covered the 
Let's go around. I accidentally covered up the um, curly cue more than I wanted. So what I'm going to do is mess with this and see if I could bring it over. No, I can't. Okay, it's fine. It is what it is. It's still going to be cute and unique. Okay, and I come back through. Hopefully somewhere in the middle of the curly cue. I don't see where the needle's coming through, but we'll see right now. Yeah, that fire was insane. Insane fire. But dang it. I'm glad everybody's safe, but I, I screwed up my car. I had the AC on because we couldn't have the windows down because of the air quality was bad and I was coughing and choking. It really, really made me start coughing because the fire was pretty bad. So I threw on the AC. It's not a brand new car. And it doesn't seem like my car liked the fact that I was swaying up and down a bunch of hills in a rush to get out of there. Because I have this app, and we all got Amber Alerts. Well, not Amber Alerts, it was like Safety Alert, National something, Government Alert, to evacuate. Now, this had nothing to do with anywhere close to the home. My home was safe, thank God. It was in the vicinity of where I was with George. We were donating computer parts um, somewhere in the city of Glendale right next to in and out Yeah. They closed down the freeways, they sent out all kinds of alerts. And um, it just it just got out of control quickly. It really did. And we were in this little neighborhood. And it, in order to get out, we had to go through a bunch of little hills homes along with other cars and everybody's trying to go fast. Some people probably didn't have AC so they were breathing in the air. Anyways, my car's running. It's just now making some strange gobbly sound. It might be the timing. But even to get it diagnosed it's going to cost money. Sucks. It's okay though. We'll get through all of it. Okay, I'm tying this off now. Mm, scissors. See, this is what I'm talking about. I wish I would have done what I just did with you guys before applying this part here. So what I'm going to do off camera is finish this part. I'm going to grab the chain so we could put the chain in the clasp. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and put our jump rings. I can't keep myself from burping because then I feel like I'm going to get angina. And that's really scary. Um, yeah. And then we got our bill for the emergency room. It's like $5,000. It's crazy. We got to call the insurance and see if they can help us more. What the heck? But that's insane. Like I'm under a bit of stress. And then something personal happened. Two personal things happened. And that's a bit stressful as well. But we'll get over it. I have faith. I really do. Okay, I'll be back later when I'm done sewing this up. I'm gonna take a small break. Maybe I'm gonna come back in a better mood. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow in a few days. I kinda wanna get this video up because this is how I make money. By you guys watching my ads, this is that's how I make money. 
if you guys watch through the ad, just mute it. Go do something or mute it and mess with things if you don't want to hear the ad. But that's the way we make our money. Share with your friends. I do have a PayPal if you guys want to donate any money. Uh, uh, anything helps. Everything helps. Um, and I will see you in a little bit. Okay, we're back. Same day. Same day, same day. Just just a few hours later. In Happy Mail, a while back, I received this box full of, I mean, amazing, 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 amazing trinkets. I hope the lady that sent this still watches my channel because I still have this exactly the way you sent it to me and I always pick at it and see if I can use things from there to create. Okay, I had a little break. I'm in order for me to feel good most times, I will watch Steve and Steph Resell Killers. They have two channels. They did a live earlier today, 10 hours ago. And I watch their live even after. And I, it always peps me up. I go through the same emotions as they do. They lost their, their dog, Jerry, about a month ago. And she's doing her live, and when I say she, it's Steph, and her husband's name is Steve. And I was just sitting here getting some tears out, right along with her. Uh, we get attached to chat certain people that have channels. I know I do. <clears throat> but I feel better. It's been a stressful weekend. I'm putting on a jump ring and I'm putting on the chain. I had a stressful weekend starting Friday. A neighbor of ours, their only son passed away in a car accident. And that was really hard news. And today I went and uh, looked for a rosary to give to her. And I found one. And I'll be George and I will be going over there to pay our respects to her in the un unfortunate event. It's very unfortunate, very, very sad. And that, that started on Friday. That, that is very, very tough. So when I have the camera zoomed in the way I do, it's kind of hard to stay in the shot. And then my lighting is a bit off. I think I'm going to have to remove my fan because the lighting sucks. Okay. So now I'm going to put this in. But I think that's going to give me too much Yeah, I'm going to remove this, this little ring, it's going to give, it's going to make it too long for my wrist, but we'll see right now. And I'm, I apologize if the video quality is not the best, like I said, my lighting is not the best right now. Yeah, it's really sad that that happened to her and their only child together. She I think she has another daughter, but the fully grown daughter. This this son was fairly young and he was just finishing up his college courses. Really good kid. Really sad. And I am an emotional person. I really am a very emotional being. Very sensitive. And then I get sick because I'm too sensitive too sensitive. I really am too sensitive. Mm. That's why I think I need a therapist. I really do think I need a therapist. And when I did go to the emergency room, the doctor suggested I see a therapist. I'm going to close it and see if it's too big. I do need to see a, ther a therapist. Might be too expensive, we'll see. Yeah, that's too big. Let's remove some. Oh. 
I literally would have to remove all of that. Okay, let's do that. Remove it all. Okay. Remove it all. No big deal. So instead of using this jump ring, I'm going to use my favorite jump rings, which if you guys do jewelry or make DIY things, I really suggest that you use these infinity jump rings. That's what I'm calling them right now. I, I know they have a specific name. But I don't know the specific name. And yes, my fingers are dirty. Well, they're not dirty. My nails are grimy. I don't care right now. I think I need to take long walks. I've been going to the gym, but that's like repetitive. I think I need to take some outside long walks because I need to let go of some of these emotions that I... I have too dang sensitive. I'm a Pisces. I was born in, at 7 11 in the morning. Hmm. And I'm a very sensitive person. Okay, I think that this is good. All right. Now, can one of you guys reach on over here? And help me out. Not gonna be able to do it. I need I need somebody to help me put this on. But anyways, we're done. So I consider this bracelet. The, the breathing you hear is one of the dogs having a bad dream or chasing maybe a cat. Beep beep. It's okay. It's okay. Beep beep. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mom's right here. Good girl. <laughs> okay. I consider this bracelet to be a Native American inspired boho mixed media piece of art. And we got my painty drop cloth. And we have that beautiful bead that Veronica sent us that inspired this bracelet. I really love it. It's really sturdy. It really is. That glue and the everything we put together really made it sturdy. I love it. Look at there we go. I love it. There's that. really like it. I'll sell it for the right price, but for right now it's mine until maybe somebody wants to buy it. Otherwise it's mine. But I would be willing to sell it because I do need the money. Okay. Catch you guys later. Thanks so much. This has taken... Let's see. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today's Sunday actually Monday morning five days to create um, with my responsibilities here in real life I don't sit here and film a whole video I have to do it in parts throughout the day or once a day for five ten minutes and then I have to go do the things that I need to do there's that um, thanks so much for watching thanks so much for clicking here as always if possible, share with your friends. It's very, very good, nice gesture, and I appreciate all of you guys that do. Leave a comment. Another thing, you guys, if you guys click either the thumbs up or you click the thumbs down, it doesn't matter. It still shows as interaction, but the only reason I'm telling you guys this is if you click the thumbs up, that's kind of like a bookmarker or even the thumbs down, whatever you want. It's a bookmarker to show you your yourselves you got your to show you guys for yourselves if you watched this video or not because that thumbs up stays so for instance if you forgotten if you watch this video 
the thumbs up or the thumbs down, whichever one you chose that this day, will stay forever. So if you thumbs it up or thumbs it down, it's basically a bookmark for yourselves. I do that to every single YouTuber that I watch. I will thumbs up so that I remember when I if I click on that thumbnail again and I see the thumbs up lights up blue, that reminds me, hey you've watched this one. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. Probably should have said that from the beginning. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe no, not maybe. Things will excuse me. Things will um turn around, I'm sure. I keep burping. I'm, I guess I'm stressing way way too much. Okay. See you guys later. Have a great day. Create. Escape from your thoughts. Grab a pen, paper, pencil, crayon, paint, whatever. And try to escape your thoughts. That's what I do. Okay. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.